Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cahoon Armory as the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos will be taking on the Odessa Wranglers. The number six New Mexico Military Broncos currently 20 and four, eight and zero in conference. And the Odessa College Wranglers ranked seventh in the nation, 21 and three, six and two in conference. Art Sandoval, Kelly McDonald getting set here for about, uh, well, the first hit about a minute and 28 seconds before we start the contest. Coach McDonald feels like I haven't been here in about a week or so, but uh, kind of been taking care of some business, but um, glad to be back here. Yeah, it's always good to be uh, in Cahoon Armory. It's such a beautiful facility and always a lot of fun to handle some Bronco volleyball out here. And this should really be a good one. You've got two teams, conference foes here, the New Mexico Military Broncos and the Wranglers ranked six and seven respectively. As you said, Wranglers with a slightly better record overall. The Broncos with the better record in conference. And uh, these two teams met earlier and had a great match when uh, Odessa was ranked pretty high and New Mexico not so high. Right. And now the roles are a little bit reversed. You got the Institute is uh, on their way up the rankings, whereas Odessa is slipping a little bit. New Mexico military on a pretty good roll here. What did you say, pregame like 13 in a row? 13 yes, yeah, matches that's, in a row? that's exactly right. So, yeah, we said uh, 13 in a row, and um, I pull up my statistics here. It was actually 11, 11 straight wins in a row, and then, uh, of course, 37 matches, 37 sets, I should say, and then uh, that have been uh, won with seven lost sets in that uh, category there. So yeah, just kind of looking over some of the statistics here. And um, you know, the last loss that the New Mexico Military Institute uh, got was on Friday, September 8th versus Indian Hills Community College at Sterling College. That was at the Sheila Worley Invitational. And uh, of course, as we talked about earlier, Indian Hills Community College is 19 and seven overall, ranked 16th in the nation and uh, received 48 points nationwide. And then of course, uh, 14 previous votes according to the NJCAA Ladies network and it uh, looks like the PA announcer is getting ready or getting set to announce the rosters here for both squads it looks like uh, they're going to announce the college from Odessa the ranked seventh team in the nation we'll do this right off the bat we're going to go over the Odessa Wranglers roster Number one is Camila Bolsoni, the sophomore defensive specialist standing at 5'3 from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Well, I guess a little change of plans. It looks like they're gonna do the presentation of colors first, or we'll pause here for just a moment. Coach 
here at Cahoon Armory, we are uh, here with the number six ranked team in the nation, the New Mexico Military Institute, as we mentioned earlier, 20 and four overall, eight and in conference play, taking on the number seven team in the nation, the Odessa Wranglers, 21 and three, six and two overall. All right, we're gonna kind of do this a little bit over again. We're gonna go over the, star, excuse me, the starting, let's just go over the rosters first here. Number one is gonna be Fuka Sekta, the freshman, the five one from Nishinomiya, Japan. Number two is Alyssa Porty, the sophomore middle blocker, stands at 5'10 out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Number three is Momoka Minamiya, the freshman defensive specialist, 5'1 from Sedamaya, Japan. Number four, Juliana Favela, the freshman middle blocker, 5'9 out of El Paso, Texas. And number five is Adriana De Jesus, sophomore middle blocker, 5'10", out of Puerto Rico. Number six, the hometown girl, MJ Stevens, freshman outside hitter, stands at 5'8", out of Roswell, New Mexico. And number seven, Evelyn Arayujo, sophomore outside hitter, 5'7", from San Paulo, Brazil. And number eight, Leo Linares, sophomore, stands at 6'1", from Guadalajara, Mexico. And number nine is Dillion Bounds, Setter, freshman, 5'7", out of El Paso, Texas. And you'll hear her name a lot. Here is number 10 in Vitoria Oliveira, sophomore, middle blocker, 6'2", from San Paulo, Brazil. And number 11, Allison Miller, the outside hitter, freshman, 5'8", out of El Paso, Texas. And number 12 is Rihanna Todd, the sophomore outside hitter from Delhart, Texas. And number 13 is Celine Guler, the freshman outside hitter, 5'11", out of Turkey. And number 14 is Sarah Schubert, the outside hitter, freshman, 5'9", from Hilo, Hawaii. And then number 16, Charmaine Fa'amusili, the outside hitter, sophomore, 5'8", out of Tacoma, Washington. And number seven is Kelaki Liani Helakahi, the sophomore, outside hitter, 5'10", out of ha uh, Hannah, Hawaii. And then finally, number 18 is Alyssa Benavides, freshman outside hitter out of Roswell, New Mexico, another hometown lady. And that is the rosters for the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos. And we'll just go over the starting lineup here for the Odessa Wranglers, as the PA announcer announced earlier. Number four is Kayla Williams, a sophomore outside hitter from Colleen, Texas, stands at 5'9". And uh, number five is Kay Chua, excuse me, Kua, freshman setter, 5'11", from Peru. Number six is Liliana Mechura, Middle hitter, 6'1", out of Lake Travis, Texas. Number eight is Camila Canero, the freshman, 5'9", out of Brazil. And then finally, excuse me, the number 13 is Hannah Nemeth, the freshman from uh, Budapest, stands at six foot. And number 15 is Devin Lewis, the freshman outside hitter from Alvin, Texas. That is the starting rotation here for New Mexico, excuse me, for the Odessa Wranglers. Okay, it looks like number nine is set to serve for New Mexico Military Broncos, and that's going to be De Leon Bounds. And here we go in set one, Art Sandwell, Kelly McDonald at Cahoon Armory. And it is a nice serve. And uh, off the Raptors, there's going to be the tip over there is Allison Miller. And right off the blocks, Coach, it looks like that's going to be number 10, Victoria Oliveira. Is that correct? That is correct. She leads the team in blocks, both uh, – combo blocks and solo blocks so doing what she does best one of the things she does best there starts <coughs> things off with a good solid block and bounds starts us off 
with the first point of the set. 1-0 here in set one in favor of New Mexico military, and here is the jump serve by Bounds. It is a beauty as she goes to the corner. There's your pass set and a little strong. And it's going to be point New Mexico military, 2-0 here in set one. Looks like the crowd is coming in here at Cahoon Armory as number nine Bounds will serve her third consecutive serve here. And that one's a little long, so now it's a 2-1 in favor of New Mexico military. Coach McDonald, as we were talking, the number six in the nation versus number seven in the nation. What does the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos have to do? They're playing well. Victoria Oliveira is really looking strong right now. What is your opinion on this set here? You know, they're, they're heading in the right direction. They need to keep doing what they're doing. So, you know, you got to take advantage of being at home, take advantage of any momentum you can get in any set, but just play the way Coach Forstner wants them to play. You know, nothing... Nothing out of the ordinary, just do what you do. Kikilani Helikahi serving for the New Mexico Military Broncos, and it is a beauty. And that one just trying to get around the blocks there. And way I'm wide. sorry, I, I said Helikahi. It's actually number 11, Allison Miller. Miller, excuse me, uh, the 5'8 freshman from El Paso, Texas, doing the serving here. Nice dig from Miller there as well. Ooh, big block. You know, talking to some of the crowd and some of the people uh, prior to this uh, first set, you know, it's going to be a contest. You, you know, the New Mexico Military Institute currently leads 4-2 in set one, but a lot of people are anticipating this could go five. Well, it sure could. I mean, they're obviously evenly matched, ranked right next to each other, similar records. They're familiar with each other, conference opponents, so... Yeah, we could be in for a five-setter, and look at that. Ace. Uh, there's an ace for Jade Kuya. Jade Kuya, the 5'11 freshman from Lima, Peru. Yeah, and she also does the setting. She'll play all the way around, set from the front row and the back row. Okay, there's the running serve for Kuya. Got the third tipped over. Nice approach by Sarah Schubert. Chance here. And they're going to go back to Schubert. There's the pass set. And hit hard by number 14, Sarah Schubert. Point, New Mexico Military Broncos. Yeah, nicely done by Bounds there. You, you saw in the previous play where they had a chance on what was essentially a free ball, but it was Bounds who had the dig, so she couldn't set it. You see the difference there when she does. All right, number 10, Victoria Oliveira, serving for the Broncos. And nice hit, nice swing by Hilakahi. Out of Hannah, Hawaii. Point, New Mexico military. Yeah, Pume just uh, showing her versatility. You know, she she's a part-time setter, part-time hitter, and she does both exceptionally well. There's the jump serve. It is a beauty once again by Oliveira. And that one's hit hard by Destiny Andrews, the 5'10 middle hitter from Smor uh, excuse me, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Yeah, just kind of ate Dillian up there. She thought she could have had a better play on her. That's awfully tough. Hit right at her with no block whatsoever. 6-4 here in set one in favor of New Mexico Military. And Devin Lewis doing the serving now for Odessa. Saved by Bounds there. Oh, and the kill right in front of Sarah Schubert who couldn't get that push over the net. Oh, it wasn't Schubert, it was uh, Favela. I saw 14 and it was four. I saw the same thing there. So Devin Lewis out of Alvin, Texas, the 6-1. Freshman doing the serving here for the Wranglers. Pume. And Hilakahi once again with the kill. Well, we get the uh, core of cadets starting to make their way in to support the team. Got the uh, Japanese flag being held up over there. So yeah. All right. I'd like to see that. Kikilani Hilakahi with the serve.
And looks like Bounds will get the kill. Point, New Mexico military. That's actually Linares there. Oh, Linares, Leo yeah. Linares. Yeah. Nicely done off the blocks at a good angle. And the three point lead now looking to add to that. Pume back to serve. Oh, and just, just missed. Just back. <laughs> so give it right back, and now the lead is back to two. Looks like it's going to be Dynasty Andrews. Or perhaps it's the uh, British pronunciation. <laughs> Maybe it's Dynasty. Who knows? Yes. Oh, and that's just going to be why. I wanted to touch. I didn't see one, but I think we'll call that Dynasty. I think that's the right pronunciation. Dynasty Andrews. I might have said Destiny earlier. I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> All right, 8-7 here in set one is still in favor of the Broncos. And that's going to be Dynasty Andrews once again, the 5'10 sophomore out of Arkansas with a nice serve and hit hard by Leo Linares. Yeah, great block there. Sarah Schubert, and it was Schubert who kept that alive previous time over the net. So just a tremendous point there. Number 14, Sarah Schubert, freshman from Hilo, Hawaii. Mina Maya coming in the set here as number 14 as Sarah Schubert is going to have a seat for just a moment. There's a serve. It's up and over. Good defense by Odessa. Oh, they get Odessa in the net. They can't believe it. They're saying it's going to be Liliana Machura out of Lake Charles, Texas. 10-7 yeah. now here in set one. She uh, she didn't believe that at all, but it doesn't matter what the players say. It matters what the blue shirts say. That's uh, affirmative. All right, there's Linares once again. Nice block. Yeah, that was mature again. She made up for that. She wasn't happy about that call, and she makes up for it immediately with a nice block. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's 10-8, two-point lead for the Broncos. Serving now for the Wranglers is number six, Liliana Matura. Going to go to the corner there and uh, pick on Momoka. Yeah, Miller there. Nicely done for the freshman. Fuka Secta. She was in the Roswell Daily Record this morning. Good defense by the New Mexico military. Thought they'd go back there, but they got, <laughs> they got mature in the net again and again. She disagrees. Yeah, she does. Well, it looks like the Broncos will call a timeout. We will, too. Oh, it is going to be on Odessa. So Odessa calls a timeout. We'll be back here in about 60 seconds. You're listening and watching KSVPTV.com. Your destination for health is closer than you think. You don't have to drive hours for personalized care. You can get high-quality health care right here, close to home, at Artesia General Hospital. From hip, knee, and shoulder replacements to sports injuries, general surgery, pain management, and wound care, our providers will help you get back to doing the things you love right here in southeast New Mexico. Artesia General Hospital is here for you when you need us. To learn more about some of our key service lines, visit artesiageneral.com slash closer. Your locally owned and operated Big O Tires has the best deals on tires, brakes, oil changes, and more. Now through October 29th, get 70 to $100 instant savings on four select in-stock Pirelli, Goodyear, and Cooper tires. Plus, synthetic blend oil changes for just $24.95 and full synthetic oil changes for just $44.95. These savings won't last. Make an appointment online or head into Big O Tires today. Big O Tires, the team you trust. All right, welcome back to Cahoon Armory here as the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos, ranked sixth in the nation, taking on the Odessa College Wranglers, who are ranked seventh. 
Serving for the Broncos is Fuka Secta. And Broncos on a good run here. They get the first point out of the timeout that they forced Odessa to call. You got to love that. And that's a, a nice push out to the back corner and just perfectly placed. And that will end the run and bring Kayla Williams back to serve. But the Broncos still lead this 13-9 here in set number one. Kayla Williams out of Colleen, Texas, the 5-9 sophomore with a nice serve. Good approach. Good swing by Allison Miller. She's going to try it again. And finally, number 10, Victoria Oliveira will get credit. Yeah, she, she just doesn't let those go by without putting them away. That's, that's her forte there. That's technically a block, not a kill, but she leads the team in both categories. So. Yeah, and that's all I was just going to say if you wanted to talk a little bit of statistics here in a moment here with uh, Victoria Oliveira. Well, and I misspoke because Lenaris actually leads the team in kills, but uh, she does. Ooh, nice serve from Call Bounds. It Call it an ace. Yeah, Bounds does lead the team in uh, in assists okay. as the part-time setter, but she is tied for second with service aces, and she shows why right there. De Leon Bounds serving now for New Mexico Military. Another good and one, and that's trouble. Is two in a row. Oh. Yeah, right into that aforementioned Japanese flag over there. <laughs> All right, 16-9 uh, is the score here in set one. Bounds will continue to serve. Jump serve is up and over. Off the Raptors there, and it's going to be point. Excuse me, the point uh, Odessa Wranglers. Yeah, we're at that point in the set though where the Wranglers can't afford to, you know, play them even, to play them back and forth. They have to put a couple <coughs> of runs or one long run together here to get back in this set. And that's going to be Canito serving for the Wranglers. Stop play for an injury right as the Broncos were lining up a, a kill attempt from Oliveira. What Injured is player is the Cam libero. Camila. Camila Canedo. And I'm not sure, I mean, she's going to come off because of the injury. I'm not sure if play is stopped, the player has to come be off. subbed for. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is interesting in the substitution now because she is the libero. I think as long as she doesn't return, they can designate another libero. Okay. Otherwise it just has to be regular uh, substitutions in the rotation and they are going to go with a replay here. Although it did appear that Oliveira Maybe had a kill down the line. Actually, I, I, I didn't see where it hit. So Well, and I didn't either. I was more concerned with um, Camila Canedo. Uh, looks like she's favoring the right knee. Uh, it well, yeah, she pulled, like she pulled the knee, knee pad down as she was down on the floor. And actually, the Bronco training staff over there with her. Okay. All right, so... The play has stopped. I think they're going to replay this. Is that correct? They are going to do a replay, and it looks like Raya Coy will replace her, the freshman from Odessa. So hometown girl getting in there to play defense. All right. And, and I'm not – honestly, I'm not sure about the substitution rules. If – you know, they, they can definitely use another libero in the next set. They can just designate a different – person if but, they want to. But right now in set one, you're referring to set one, right? In set one, I, I think unless they designated two on the lineup, which is very rare, yeah. uh, I, I don't think uh, I don't think they can go with another libero. So Okay. All right. Well, we'll keep everybody updated on the injury here. Okay, we're here in set one as the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos lead 16-10. And now serving four, the Wranglers is a number 10, Rhea Coy. 
Yeah, because I, I think Canedo was serving. Canedo was serving, that's correct. Canedo was serving. Oh, look at that shot there by Oliveira, but that will be out. Point Odessa. Yeah, so that will go down as an error. And uh, very similar to the way the uh, interrupted point went down. And that poor pass into the net and Bounds can't get it out. So it looks now like New Mexico military will call a timeout. We will take one too. We'll be back from Cahoon Armory. You were listening and watching KSVPTV.com. Bob Reed Pest Control protects you and your home by controlling pests that invade. Bob Reed Pest Control understands the importance of safety in and around your home from unwanted pests. Protect your family's most important investment, your home, and protect your children and pets from the dangers of poisonous bugs and insects. Call Bob Reed Pest Control today and let our fully licensed pest control professionals start working for you and your family. Find us fast and name some numbers. Call 623-5344, serving all of Southeast New Mexico. All right, welcome back to Cahoon Armory as the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos took a timeout to regroup here. And it looks like the timeout was effective as number 17, Helikahi, will get some credit there. And another point for New Mexico Military, 17-12. Yeah, I like the play there because anytime you can, you can have Oliveira there to kind of draw the blockers, then it opens things up for your outside hitter. Allison Miller with the serve. Good defense by the Broncos. That's tight. Oh! Yeah. Who, uh, who, as I said earlier, sets all the way around. She's blocking on that play because she was in the right front position, legal maneuver. And uh, got the better of Oliveira on a joust there. You don't see that very often. Yeah, Jade Acuya, the freshman out of Lima, Peru, stands at 5'11". And a nice block there from Hannah Nemeth, the Hungarian middle. And back to a three-point advantage for the Broncos. They're going to have to try and get this. Buda Momentum back. Yeah, Budapest. Victoria Hungary. So Oliveira on the quick set makes short sure work of that one. They get the lead back to four. And Oliveira, one of the stronger set uh, servers on the team, now hoping to put a little run together. Good and there's save. a good serve. It's going to be an ace for Oliveira. Boy, she looks very, she looks very good. Looks fit, looks like she's playing well. And like you mentioned, she's leading in a couple of categories statistically, correct? Well, including aces, although she does miss, has leads the team in service errors as well. And that's just shows you how aggressive a server she is. Speaking of that, Oliveira will have a seat here and number one, Fukta Sekta will come in. A 5-1 freshman out of Japan. Broncos trying to hold them off here. Devin Lewis serving now for the Wranglers. I think you and I determined this was week seven in NJCAA volleyball. Great dig there on Miller. Oh, and what a, what a placement by Sarah Schubert. So just good smart volleyball there as we're gonna get Linares rotating in for Bounds means Pume will serve and set. Kikalani Helikahi into the net. That's not like her. No. Yeah, tried it down the line, and uh, Odessa tried to sub in a little quickly there. He's mature, a little eager to get in the game. Dynasty Andrews with a nice serve there for the Wranglers. Ooh, back row, but 
just long for Linares. Mm. Looks like they're saying no, it's going to be a little long. Okay. So 20 to 17 as the Broncos lead by three. Yeah, just trying to hold off the Wranglers here, but the Wranglers yeah. won't go away. And that's, a, that's what we expected here when you're playing the number seven team in the nation. Oh, <laughs> Hilakahi <laughs> kind of elbows Sekta in the face there, says, I'm sorry. <laughs> it happens. Now just a two-point advantage. Let's see how long Coach Fortuner lets this go. All right, there's the set and bounds. Excuse me, Linares, isn't it? Yeah, Linares. Oh, the go quick and touched. So it will be a point for the Broncos. All right. Are they disputing that? No, it's going to be a point. Okay, 21-18 now here in set one. It's going to be back and forth probably throughout this whole contest. Momoka Minamaya with the serve for the Broncos. Great save there. Let's see if Broncos take advantage. Oh, and they do. And they do. Allison Miller with the kill. All right, and a timeout for Odessa. We're going to take one, too. We're live from Cahoon Armory. We'll be right back. You're listening and watching KSVPTV.com. Even if you swing the golf club like an arthritic giant gorilla, you'll look good on the course in professional polos, shirts, and hats embroidered by business notions. Even add your company logo to golf balls. So don't look like a gorilla. Call Business Notions at 625-2840. Professional embroidery and screen printing, perfect for your next event in sports teams. Business Notions, our business is making your business look good. 625-2840. Kalichi's is ready to bring you the coolest dessert in the desert. Desert Ice, a 100% fat-free and dairy-free premium fruit ice that's made daily. Whether in the desert on a cone, a cup, or as a mix-it, Desert Ice is the perfect treat to cool you down when things get hot. Available in fruitastic flavors like mango, strawberry, lemon, and orange. Try it alone, in a cone, or take it to the party zone and mix it in with any Kalichi's flavor. Turns out the desert can be a pretty cool place. Get to Kalichi's on North Main in Roswell, Roswell's newest spot to chill out. Welcome back to Cahoon Armory. We're here in set one as the Broncos lead 21-18. Nice attack there. Yeah, it really was. And that was my Leo Linares. Good defense there by the Wranglers. Very impressive. The Wranglers are not giving up here in set one. Mina Maya with a great defensive play, and then they can't get the attack over as Nemeth just didn't have the timing down on that one. Got a little into the net. Yeah, I mean, just jumped a little earlier, just mistimed it. All right, 23 18. There is the serve now by Mina Maya. Let's see, that one's going to be by, hit hard by Leah Linares. Oh, thought Helikahi might have had the opportunity to use her feet there to. Well, maybe, except she's the one to hit it last, so it was a double hit. Hit it into the net, can't hit it again until someone oh, it, else does. Okay, so sounds good. I thought it was. Actually, the, the call was correct when a double hit. Perfect, okay. 23-19 here in set one. And boom, that's a nice hit. Except it didn't make it over. By Favela. That's going to be point Odessa. It's been a struggle. Been an even close set all the way through. Oh, that's a short <laughs> set. Ooh, and a big block from Matura. <laughs> And I think that the Broncos have a timeout left. I'm pretty sure that Odessa does not. 
Yeah, hitting, uh, serving now is uh, Hannah Nemeth. Ooh! And there's a nice kill. It's going to be set point for New Mexico military, and now it's Fuka Secta. Let's see if she can end set one here. Strong serve. Going to get a free ball out of it. Oh, they will not. Oh, no. Great attack. Kayla Williams making something out of nothing there. And now they're going to have to get it on defense with the side out if they can hold them off. 24-22. Broncos looking to get set number one, but, boy, Odessa will not go away. Kayla Williams, the native out of Killeen, Texas, serving now for the Wranglers. That'll do it. But the New Mexico military will win set one. 25-22. So we're going to take a break. We are live from Cahoon Armory. We'll be back. You are listening to KSVPTV.com. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. Southwest Printers is a third-generation printing company. From letterheads to business cards and all types of invitations, books, and magazines, our dedicated staff care about your project and work to get it right the first time, every time. Southwest Printers' design team makes your art stand out above the rest. Our printing team will handle your project like it's the only one in the shop. Let us print your signs, banners, window lettering, event tickets, invitations, and much, much more. Remember, Southwest Printers. If you can think it, we can print it. Find us fast in names and numbers. Hi, my name is Chance with Trustmark Roofing and Windows, and here's what you should expect during your window inspection. Upon my arrival, you'll receive a 15-minute courtesy call letting you know I'm on the way. Once I'm in your home, I'm going to be checking for moisture indication, functionality, and any kind of energy efficiency improvements to the inside and outside of your home. After my inspection, I'll give you my professional opinion, and then you can decide whether you want a no-obligation quote. Myself or the office will contact you to set up a date when I can show you my products and options to best suit your needs. So when choosing windows, choose Trustmark Roofing and Windows. Our goal is to give you a five-star service and get you what you deserve, and that's the best. October is National Cooperative Month, and as a Central Valley Electric Cooperative member, you are much more than just a customer. You're a co-op owner. At CVE, we are here to power your life so you can do all the things you need to grow. We are better when we grow together. It's National Co-op Month, and CVE wants to thank our members for being the heart of the co-op. Thank you for being a co-op owner and a customer of Central Valley Electric Cooperative. Dion. Welcome back to Cahoon Armory here in Roswell, New Mexico, the number six team in the nation, the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos. Taking on the number seven team in the nation, the Odessa Wranglers. The Broncos takes it one, 25-22. Art Sandoval, Kelly McDonald. Yeah, great first set there. And like you said, pregame, you know, we, we might have five sets just like that, just that close, that competitive. And I'll tell you what, Odessa, the, this core of cadets has been pretty quiet so far. Yeah. If, if it gets close or if it gets, you know, a little different, that, that, that might not be the case. So we'll oh. see how that works out. All right, so let's see here. Looks like we have number one, Fuka Setka, number 14, is Sarah Schubert, number nine, and is uh, Deleon Bounds. Number 11, Allison Miller, no particular order. Of course, I see Oliveira out there as well. And that looks like Kelakahi. Yeah, you can count on Pume being out there. He's gonna play all the way around. Okay, and for Odessa, serving for the Wranglers is Bolsoni, 
Number 13 is Hannah Nemeth is on there as well, followed by number seven, Sarah Sarai Arona. Sarai Arona is the new libero. So okay. looks like that's all for Canedo. As we start off with a... Yeah, Matura is out there as well. And then also uh, Jade Kuya. All right, so 1-0 as the Broncos take an early lead here in set two. Nearly on bounds with the serve. Going to the corner, picking on Bolsoni. And I didn't see it. Uh, it's a long on the attack there. I think it was a back row attack there by Nemeth, but not sure. It's going to be a point for the Broncos, and Bounds will be back to serve again. All right. Nice little push there by Liliana Matura. Yeah. Didn't think she could hit over or around the block, so she opts to push off of him, and well done with the wipe. This is the new libero, is that correct? Uh, looks like uh, Sarai Orona. Orona, correct. From Odessa, Texas. Hitakahi with the nice hit. Ooh, good block good by. Dig. Good dig. New libero Orona making a presence felt early. See if they can do anything with this. They go quick. They do. And the angle is not there. <laughs> As Oliveira just sends it wide. I would love to do that, but uh, as we said in other broadcasts, it's a much higher degree of difficulty. All when, right. you, when you get it, you almost always get a point out of it. Yes, sir. Left hand hit by Helikahi. And Lewis into the net. Point, New Mexico military. Yeah, Lewis struggling a little bit. 6-1 outside hitter from Alvin, Texas. She's had timing's just been a little off. She's had several into the net. That's uh, Allison Miller now doing the serving for the Broncos. And that will be four hits as they just kind of a strange sequence there, but will be a point for Odessa, and they nodded up at three. Jay Kuya. Doing the serving here now for the Wranglers. And the running serve. A little miscommunication there. Well, more just the tight pass and bounce couldn't do anything but the one hand set. Nice defense there, but it hits the rafters and nobody home as often happens. And Odessa with what may be their first lead of the match, four to three. Yeah, that is the first lead. First set was close all the way through, but I don't think the Broncos trailed. It's long. Another point for the Broncos. All tied up here in set two. Yeah, and whoever's gonna win this match has to absolutely minimize things like that. I understand wanting to be aggressive with the serve, but can't just give points away against a evenly matched opponent. There's Oliveira with the serve. It's blocked by Pume there. Devin Lewis with the tip over. And that's gonna be out on the Wranglers. Point New Mexico military. Yeah, Victoria showing off her setting skills there. See how aggressive she is here. Once again, leads the team in aces, but also service errors. You know, I'm kind of curious about Oliveira. She's going to, it's going to be another point for the Mexican military. If Oliveira is going to try to go on to the next level or she's going to, I think she is. I think she can play somewhere. A strong, strong division two. That's what I'm guessing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, a little, uh, little undersized to be a middle at a big DI, time yeah. D1 school, but she can keep playing. And, I mean, not saying that she couldn't, but 
in my opinion, a strong Division II will be a good place for that. And they're questioning young lady. the uh, double on the set there. Don't get a lot of that. <laughs> but that is going to be the call, and they won't change it. Okay. So 7 4 Broncos, and Olivera is still back there serving. So nice little run. That's three. Let's see if she can make it four. She can't. And Too aggressive. Yep. But, you know, that's that's just, you know, some people serve that way. It's, gets the strong serve sometimes, gets the ace more than anyone else, but also the service errors more than anyone else. So it's kind of a trade-off. Devin Lewis now serving now for the Odessa Wranglers. Oh, Pume. Hilakahi with the kill. And Pume's been the, Pume. the big hitter for the Broncos in this match. I mean, Linares has had a few, and you've had uh, you've had Miller with a few, but the most consistent has been Pume. Pume with a beauty. Linares gets it over. See if they can get that set there. That's going to be a hard hit by 14, Sarah Schubert. Yeah, good defense by Odessa, but here come the Broncos again. And that, oh, great, great defense save. there. Oh, I thought they might go middle there. And they get Kayla Williams in the net. And uh, assistant coach. And now a timeout for Odessa. <laughs> All right, we'll take one too. We're live from Cahoon Armory. We'll be back here in about one minute. Dion's is proud to be a part of the Roswell community and is the perfect place for team dinners, family gatherings, and all your catering needs. Stop by Dion's in their beautiful restaurant at 1350 South Main Street in Roswell for the best pizza, salads, and subs in town. Or visit Dion's.com to order ahead for dine-in or for a super fast pickup. That's Dion's.com to see the full menu and order ahead. Thanks, Roswell, for letting Dion's celebrate the community they love. Dion's, where great food and good people meet. Welcome back to Cahoon Armory here in Roswell, New Mexico. As the Odessa Wranglers took a timeout, Broncos do lead 9-5. If you're just now tuning in to KSVPTV.com, the Broncos did win set one, 25-22 in a thriller. And now serving for the Broncos is Pume Helakahi. Kekalani Helakahi with the nice serve. Good block. Did you have a combo or is it all with uh, Favela? Well, you know, Schubert and Favela are both there. I think that was a combo block. I thought it was myself. Public address gives both of them credit, so we'll go with that. All right. There is Pume with the serve. Good pass, good set, but a better block. And another point for New Mexico military. Yeah. That's Linares with the blocks of consecutive blocks. Great defense on that front row. And you know, I, I said it once, I'll say it again. It looks like the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos really have a lot of luck when Hilakahi is doing the serving. Well, I mean. Rotation. Yeah, but what makes her so effective for me, I mean, she, yeah, she's an excellent server. But to be able to play all the way around, you're, set, you're setting half the time. So when you get in those situations where she's a hitter right. and they hit the ball, you know, the setter has to play defense, then you've got another setter right there often. And, you know, it's, it's definitely an advantage, but it's so tough to play all the way around at this level when you're setting. Yeah, and just look at the job she's doing. I mean, goes to serve, goes to the front row, passes the ball, sets the ball, you name it. Yeah, I mean, and... You know what? She's great in the back row too. Yeah. I mean of she's course. she's she's excellent, you know, at all six positions. 
Well, there's going to be another point for the Mexican military. Let's see what happens. <laughs> nice kill. Giuliani. Favela. Another timeout. All right, we'll be back here in about 60 seconds, live from Cahoon Armory. We'll be right back. ENMU Open House Preview Day for high school students is Saturday, October 28th on campus in Portales. High school students and their parents can get information about admission and scholarships, find out about potential majors, get a specialized campus tour, and have a chance to win great prizes, including a $500 scholarship. Come visit campus and learn about our safe, family-friendly college environment. Sign up today at enmu.edu slash open house. Eastern New Mexico University. Student success. That's what we're about. If you're missing a tooth or several teeth, a dental implant may be the ultimate solution. Implants look and feel so much like real teeth that you probably forget you have an implant. Maupin and Brown Dentistry is one of New Mexico's most experienced implant providers with literally thousands of implant patients who are absolutely delighted with the results. Call Maupin and Brown today for an evaluation. You'll be surprised how affordable implants can be. Maupin and Brown, your choice for experience, stay of the art dentistry. 14 5 in favor of New Mexico military Broncos here in set two. Coach McDonald, we said 10 consecutive serves for Hitakahi. Is that correct? <laughs> well, why'd you jinx it, Cardinal? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and it might not have been. There might have been one. We'll there call might it have nine or ten. Servers, but yeah, no, a great run there because it was 5 to 5, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, it usually happens that way, huh? We compliment a player of both squads, and I was just going to say something about that one, but uh, anyway, it's going to be another point for New Mexico military. So now you get uh, Mina Maya coming in to play that back row. So right now, you have a very strong defense in the back row. Mostly it will be the Japanese contingency back there, but you do have the setter will drop back sometimes as well, and that is Pume. And it's going to be another point. A strong hit by number 13. And that's going to be uh, Nemeth, but it's going to be a point to New Mexico military. Ten-point lead now for the Broncos. Yeah, really, really taking over set number two here. You know, kind of just going over... Uh, The rankings here, I see where the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos, as we mentioned earlier, are number six in the nation. But you have Florida Southwestern State, number one. Northeastern Junior College, two. Salt Lake Community College, three. Miami Dade College, number four. And then Navarro College, five. Going back and looking at the schedule of New Mexico Military, I was going back to see if New Mexico military has played in the borrow this year, and they have not. There's a kill from Kayla Williams there as they kind of stopped the bleeding on the Odessa side. No, I don't believe they've played Navarro. And it appears that they will not be playing Navarro anytime soon. Maybe in the postseason. Yeah, and according to the information we received here, November 1st, which is a Wednesday, it says at TBA, the Region 5 Championship potentially will be played in Dallas, Texas. I shouldn't say potential. That's what it's documented here as. But I don't know if there's a first round or a tournament. Right. Like uh, last year, New Mexico Military won the tournament last year and then went on to Missouri to play. So we'll get some more information about that. But the National Championship is going to be in Hutchinson, Kansas, starting on November 16th. Seventeen eight is the score. Make it eighteen eight in favor of New Mexico military. Yeah, Wrangler's just a little out of sorts here. After a very competitive set number one, the Broncos have been pretty well dominant since it was five to five on a thirteen to three run. Yeah, another beauty for Secta. And why would you not go to her? Played it well though. <laughs> she played it well. And Olivera is upset at herself. Now kicks the ball under the net. Let's see if she warns her. She won't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thought she might say something. I'm talking about the up official there. 
Yeah. Don't want to see anything that can be construed as unsportsmanlike. Oh, that's a great job. Wow. wow. That is Ellison Miller to keep it inside the antennas, and it will be a point New Mexico military. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's not easy, and she made it look easy. What a, what a play there by Miller. Showed some athleticism there. And so Bounds finally gets to come back in. She sat a long time. Those three rotations were long ones for the Broncos, so we'll see if Bounds is rusty here or if she picks things up. Oh, good job by Oliveira. Oh, and Helikahi. <laughs> Oliveira <laughs> really wanted the Broncos to win that point. Yeah, I, I after did too. The, uh, that's, <laughs> that's just great there. The soccer. Dribble. Well, you know, Coach, I, you know, I'm, I always like to talk about, you know, national rankings, and especially when it's coming down to the NJCAA Division I volleyball rankings. You know, of course, not. I don't have nothing in front of me. Great hit Victoria. by Victoria Oliveira, point, New Mexico military. But uh, next time when we have our laptops and stuff, I do want to research a little bit about Navarro College, or actually the top five, or top, yeah, top five of the nation with – if New Mexico military wins, let's say in three sets, coach, will that help them in the rankings whatsoever? Um, there's the potential that it could, but the, the problem is that the teams that are ahead of them, you know, they would almost have to lose because, you know, they have better records right. for the most part, the exception of Salt Lake Community College. They have better records. And as you said, we're not going to play any of these teams. I mean, these are Florida teams. You got a Utah team. You know, uh, you got Navarro's in Texas, really probably the, the closest one. And then Northeastern Junior College. That's not, you know, that's not going to be somebody we play either. So, yeah, and, and it's tough to do the rankings at this level because teams are so spread out. And oftentimes, you have, you know, the situation where teams don't play each other. So right. it's, it's hard to tell. And well, and you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, we're talking about. New Mexico military. We're also talking about Odessa College. I mean, they're right there. Yeah, and this this very well could be a, a you know a, a rematch once again if they go to that you know that uh, Region Five tournament. Well, and what's interesting too is New Mexico Junior College is is ranked eight. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you know if New Mexico. Oh. Wow. There it is. There it is. Victoria Oliveira. What do you want to call that? Yeah, you know? I'm sure they have a name for that I'm celebration. Sure. What was that cartoon back in the day? Uh, Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. There you go. That's a, that's what we should call. And the Yosemite Sam celebration. I like it. The Yosemite Sam celebration, and the Broncos now lead 23-11. And uh, Favela so caught up in celebrating, she forgot <laughs> to check in again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a good nickname for Rivera. Set point now. She uh, gave the salute to her superiors there after the ace. How I like that coach? too. <laughs> Set point 24 11. And let's see if Oliveira can make it happen here. But no, it is going to be great defense by the Broncos. Partially blocked, nice up by Bounds there, and now it'll be Pume. Go outside, get up. There and it is. Buckos win, set two. Favela gets the final point. 25-11, I'm sorry coach, I cut you off. That's all right, dominant fashion, the Broncos take set number two. All right, we'll be back here in about two and a half minutes. We're live from Cahoon Armory. Thanks for listening and watching KSUPTV.com. Oasis Computers has been Roswell's trusted source for home and small business computers for over 30 years, and they continue to be your best resource for
computer repairs, operating system upgrades, web root managed antivirus, special orders, and more. Oasis Computers is now open from 8 to 1, Monday through Friday, to better serve you. Service calls by appointments and after hour appointments are available too. Stop by Oasis Computers at 1703 North Garden or call or text 575 625 9141 for even faster service. Time to say goodbye to slow buffering and hello to lightning fast internet speeds. Plateau offers affordable plans with unbeatable speeds and no data coverage fees. Come by the grand opening at the new, more convenient location at 3201 North Main Street in Roswell on October 24th at 1 p.m. Visit the Plateau video gaming trailer, enter for drawings, and sign up for the best internet in southeastern New Mexico with the first month absolutely free when you sign up at the event. See you at the grand opening at 3201 North Main Street in Roswell on October 24th. Plateau. Tried. True. Trust it. How do you make the most of your land? Shaw does it behind the wheel of a John Deere 1025R compact tractor, as he does everything to make. My yard looks as beautiful as I possibly can. But the Hubbards use their 1025R because we really are trying to create this homestead. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deal. Stop by Pecos Valley Equipment in Artesia and Roswell, or visit us online at PecosValleyEquipment.com. At Richland Motors, it's never been easier to sell or trade your current car, truck, or SUV for a newer model to hit the road in. Even if you don't purchase from Richland, they want to buy your vehicle for top dollar. But if you do buy from Richland, don't forget, they're the home of the powertrain warranty for life. That's a whole lot of confidence for you. See Richland for details, 2nd and Sycamore, and 1309 Southeast Main. All right, welcome back to Cahoon Armory here in Roswell, New Mexico. The New Mexico Military Institute Broncos win set two, 25-11. So two sets to zero. I have a question to ask you. Is it about the dinosaur? Well, besides the dinosaur, it might be, but what do you think about that song, Sweet Caroline? Oh, I, hey, everybody loves that song, any, <laughs> any sporting event. That used to just be a Boston Red Sox thing, but yeah, now it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's all over, all over the nation. So the dinosaur I don't know about, but uh, <laughs> we'll have to ask somebody about that. Yeah, we'll get some confirmation on that. It's uh, maybe a good luck charm. Maybe it's, um, as we talked about earlier, they had won 11 straight matches. Yeah, whatever's working. I mean, yeah. You can have your blow-up dinosaur on the bench. Or? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, so the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos lead two sets to nil. I guess that's appropriate to say. Nil. That's kind of a, kind of your deal in your alley there, isn't it? The, What's that? When you say nil, it's more of a tennis uh, terminology. Oh, nil. Yeah. Yeah, I think more of a soccer. Okay, I thought you used that in tennis a little bit, though. No, no, always love. Okay. Always love. All right, just making sure you love that game. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Football, yeah, I'm a big fan. There you go. (laughs) All right. Looks like it's going to be Broncos serve first, and it will be bounds. So it's going to kind of pick up right where they left off. All right, this is very a very important set here for New Mexico military. They lead two sets to... Nothing here. There's the servants up and hit hard by number 10, Victoria Oliveira. 1-0 in favor of New Mexico military in all three sets. New Mexico military started out 1-0. That is true. They have led for, I would say, about 99% of this match. And they want to keep that going. You don't want to give this Odessa team life. They're going... Well, Bowser's going to get credit for the ace. I was going to say they've gone to their third libero now. Now Raya Coy, the freshman from Odessa. So they subbed in two players, hometown girls, to try to replace starting libero Canedo, who was injured in set number one. Yeah, I haven't heard any updates uh, on Canedo. Oh, that's a nice dig. Great approach by Ellison Miller. Oliveira there to save the day. Good block from Vittoria. Oh, good Great save. Job by Jay Kuya. She'll want it back and see if they give it to her. They don't. 
But that is. I'm not going to say that's out, but uh, I'm going to say the guy on the leg. R1 is saying. I'm going to say the last touch to Bronco, but I, I thought the block just went out. And now we have another injured Wrangler. And this time, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I didn't see what was going on there, but is that possible they can go ahead and – no, they're not going to give it to him. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, the only way you're going to see a call reverse is if you see the officials get together and they'll decide, did Communicate. you see something clearly? And, and, and nowadays they don't have to actually physically get together because they're mic'd up yeah. and can talk to each other. So in a situation like that, if the down official says – you know, hey, I really saw something, but when it's right in front of the R1, forget about it. That, that's never going to get changed. All right, there was a, an injury for the Wranglers. It looked like that was Camilla Bolsoni, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is who it is. It's uh, number one, Camilla Bolsoni, starting defensive specialist. All right, and that's going to be Rhea Coy now serving for the – Wranglers and a tip over by Oliveira. Point in the Mexico military. Yeah, and a heads up, intelligent play there. She saw an opportunity. You don't have to swing hard every time if you can get the little tip and point it. Sometimes that's the way to go. Good dig. Yes. Masukta, Secta. Secta was the uh, conference player of the week last week. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Showing why as she gets a great dig. Now the dig went back over the net, but Broncos still able to get the point. And they're out to a 4-1 lead here in set number three. They want to put them away. This is still a very dangerous team. And you don't want to give them any kind of life here. And this is going to be trouble. And four hits. It's going to be four hits, yep. Well, they didn't hit it, so it's just down. But same result, and now 5-1. So Miller will continue to serve the native out of El Paso, Texas. No sector. Pass set there to Pumi. Pumi with the kill. She's been a hitter, that, you know, usually known for other things, but she has definitely been a hitter. And I've been impressed with Allison Miller. Without a doubt. Out of Coronado High School there in El Paso. And just a deep team, you know, a lot of, a lot of players who can contribute. Well, you know, I really do feel well, there's another point for the Mexican military. Yeah, and just, just a push, and she's she's like, okay, I'll take that kind too. <laughs> yep. Well, the Mexican military, actually both these teams could go really deep in the playoffs. Yeah, well, absolutely. They'll both be uh, contenders for the conference championship and, you know, a tough out in the playoffs. I think you're right. Okay, and there's Helikahi. Boy, just keep feeding her. With another hard swing. And timeout, Odessa. All right, we'll be back. 8-1 is the score in favor of the Mexico Military Institute. Of all the flowers in the world, pansies get a bad rap. Hi, this is Jim Gill with Roswell Seed Company. The name pansies sound delicate and weak, but in reality, pansies are bold and beautiful. When the frost has killed all the other flowers, pansies start blooming and they'll bloom all winter long, which is why you should come see us at Roswell Seed. We have a greenhouse full of colorful pansies ready to brighten up the coldest winter day. So come get your pansies and remember, if someone calls you a pansy, take it as a compliment. Do you know what the hardest part of dealing with a roofer is? Just trying to get them on the phone. Trustmark Roofing wants you to know. You can always trust Trustmark Roofing to answer their phones. You need a free roof inspection? Just call 575-755-ROOF and the phone will be answered by a live person, a real human being. Have a roofing project already going with them and need to discuss it? Just call 575-755-ROOF and Trustmark Roofing will answer the phone. 
All right, welcome back to Cahoot Armory here in Roswell, New Mexico. We're here in set three as the New Mexico Military Broncos lead 8-1 and currently lead two sets to none. Yeah, and when you got a set lead like that and a game or a game lead like that, then uh, I guess you can dance on the sideline. Like <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, well, that's that's us included, I suppose, huh? Oh, that's going to be in. Nice kill for Sarah Schubert. Yeah, and they thought that one might be close, but she knew it was in the whole time, pointing down. And nice kill there for Schubert. Nice serve by the Broncos, and another point. And I'll tell you what, one thing that could, that I'm sure is a factor here, that libero is really important to your sure team. Sure and, and when you lose someone, anyone, you know, that's uh, playing a, a vital role in the back of that defense, you know, it, it does sometimes have a domino effect. And, you know, Odessa just seems a little out of sorts. Ooh, well, good block one. there, though. Yeah, Sarah Schubert tried to just tip it over there, but uh, I'm going to the net, huh? Yeah, Caden Emmett actually with a real nice block. It's a 10-2 score now. Once again, they're dangerous. Don't give them life. You need to get this right back. Don't let any momentum come <laughs> your way. <laughs> Oliveira just... Uh, <laughs> Working her tail off. And there's Helikahi again with a strong hit. Oh, tight. Oh, that's tough. That's very difficult. That attack was so tight to the net. And Helikahi able to get the kill, stay out of the net with her attack. And she's, she's just had a tremendous match. Yes, she really has. 11-2 now, set three. If you're just now tuning in at KSVPTV.com, Victoria Oliveira serving now with the nice jump serve. Oh, great save by Bounds. Oh, and you got <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> Give her a warning there. I mean, they can, but uh, <laughs> the one is up there kind of laughing. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. I mean, if she had slammed it or, you know, then yeah. she probably would have. But th that was clearly just frustration. <laughs> and, <laughs> hey, she's not a setter. Yeah, Devin Lewis now serving for the Wranglers. And another point. Nice kill for Favela. Another El Paso native that's uh, had a solid match. All right, Linares. Subbing in. Bounds will rotate out. Elikahi, yeah, they go here, coach. She will serve and set now. So putting the different hat on. Back to Linares. Good dig. Great dig. Fuka. Secta. Oh, so to Asia Richardson. Haven't called her name yet, but the 5'11 native out of San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, they uh, they wanted someone in the net there. I guess that was the call. Okay. Well. Yes, and Pume still serving. So. Okay, so I missed the call. Yeah, well, they, they called a violation of some kind on the – on the uh, maybe they did get the libero on the net. That okay. would be unusual, but th they did say number 10. So Okay, well, nonetheless, it was a point in favor of New Mexico military, and then Puma continues to serve. Hilakahi with the nice jump serve. And that's going to be a kill. And actually, I think they got number 11. Richardson in the net, so that would okay. make more sense. Okay. Either way, 14 to 4 is the score. Yeah, so, 10 point lead for the Broncos. Yeah, enjoying that big lead. Really takes a lot of pressure off. I mean, you can just play and. Oh, nice. Yeah. Favela. Yuli. Okay, 
Anamia. Entering the rotation as she will do the serving now for the Broncos. And there is oh, Puka Sikta. Beautiful, beautiful Lenaris. <laughs> and Pume with a high level difficulty set there. That was a quick back set. And Lenaris just put it away. The Broncos playing well. Momoka, Minamiya. Serving there, uh oh. On the ground as Leo Linares as she dies for the ball, but it will be point and in I favor of Odessa. Actually called the lift there, kind of, kind of late, but probably the right call. Okay, serving now is uh, Sarai Orona. Oh, a rare miss there. Oh, looked like that was going out there. <laughs> that one probably going out. That almost looked outside the antenna, but uh, evidently it wasn't. But nice hit, nice swing. Juliana Favela. And she will rotate out. Solid play for... Yuli, she gets congratulations all along the bench. <laughs> Run and serve here. Yeah, 17-5 in favor of New Mexico military. That'll work. Make it 18-5 for the number 16. Sixth ranked team, excuse me, in the nation. And another timeout for the Odessa Wranglers, we'll take one too. Thanks for listening and watching KSVPTV.com. We'll be right back. Wakefield Oil Company is a name you can rely on with full service at the pump the way it used to be. You can expect service in just 15 seconds. They offer bulk fuel and oil services and even diesel exhaust fluid. Wakefield Oil Company will deliver to farms, ranches, dairies, the oil fields, and more with dependable service you can count on. So the next time you need service or delivery, go with the name that locals have trusted since 1983. Wakefield Oil Company, 311 South Virginia in Roswell. Let them earn your business. Welcome back to set three as the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos lead 18-5. We're here in Cahoon Armory, Roswell, New Mexico. Been a lot of fun here, uh, the New Mexico Military Broncos. This is, I like this right here. It looks like the New Mexico Military Broncos, you know, they're, they're currently ranked sixth in the nation, 20-4 and four overall, 8-0 in conference. But look at the camaraderie that this team has. It's just it's nice to see that they're getting along. They're doing just a lot of different things that are good for for the program. Well, they're enjoying themselves, and they deserve it. You know, they're playing well, and they're they're taking down a very good opponent here in, in pretty dominating fashion. Okay. And there is Oliveira with the tip over. Point in the Mexico military. Yeah, and when you're a big hitter, and when then when you have the discipline to be able to, to tip it, they have to stay back because yeah. if you swing. So if they don't, you know, that just opens things up for you, and she's a smart player. Oh, oh didn't get away with it that time. Number six, I believe, is that? Uh, yeah, Matura. Matura? She's, she's played pretty well. Yeah, Matura out of Lake Travis, Texas, 6-1. Now it's uh, Kayla Williams doing the serving and oh nice kill by number 15 Devin Lewis you know they list Lewis at 6-1 and Mature at 6-1 and look how much taller <laughs> Lewis is than Mature yeah that might have been in the start of the season <laughs> right <laughs> there's a floater I love that kind of a serve good serve by Ooh. Williams wow Allison Miller with the kill. That's, it's just been a kind of a pick your poison kind of match for the for the Broncos. You know they're not they're not going to to Pume every time. They're not going to Olivera every time. They're just going setting the ball all over the place and yeah. everybody's just kind of feasting. Uh oh, now you got to serve quick. You only get five <laughs> seconds back there. Yep, and uh, <laughs> and it look at that. Out okay, it, and she knew it too. 
Oh, look out. Uh, ooh, that's great defense. What Good a job wow. by Odessa. Wow. But here it comes number 11, Allison Miller with the kill. Well, you hate to see that from Matura because she had an incredible get to get that third hit over the net, but the Broncos take advantage, and now they're just four <laughs> points away. Dilly on balance. He was like, oh, I have four and a half seconds here. I got to serve. All right. There it is. Into the net, though, so it's going to be a point of Odessa. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, now the one thing you can do is you can just toss it up and let it drop and, get, and get a reserve. But uh, she opted to just serve it quick, and it worked out. Secta there to save the day. Little push over by Linares and point New Mexico military. 22-8 is a score here in set three. Yeah, Minamaya kind of struggling. That's that's a couple of miss hits for her, which is unusual. Yeah. But now Miller has been one of the stars tonight. To try to finish things off here. Ooh, nice joust by both players there. A weird angle there in the players. <laughs> was, was she going to give the yo Sam? But he said? <laughs> no, I think just Not once yet. a match. Okay, all get. right. Sounds good. So 23-18 now. Excuse me, 23-8. I beg your pardon. There's a score here. Had players come together under the net there. That's don't see that very often. Look at that yeah. block. Now it's going to be set point, set and match point for New Mexico military and the Corps of Cadets now. Yeah, that was that was standing all standing up. That was all uh, Pume there. They credited both of them, but that was Pume on the block. And she's my player of the match. I have to agree with you, coach. Good job by Miller. And that'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Nope. That will not do it. They called a double on the Broncos, so they'll have to wait at least one point. Taylor entering the rotation for the Wranglers. Four cadets on their feet. Making some noise. Emmett serving now for the Wranglers. The Southpaw. Good serve. Olivero with the tip over. Olivero will win. Quick! It. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, set it higher for me. But this time, they're going to go to Sarah Schubert into the net. I didn't see it, Coach. No, well, ball didn't clear the net. So. Didn't clear it, okay. And then out. All right, 24-10. 14-point lead for the Broncos. Set and match point. Olivera, quick! And the Broncos win! 25-10 over the Odessa Wranglers. Man, this was a quick one, Coach. Yeah, way quicker than I thought. I, I really thought we had a chance at a five-setter here tonight, but the Broncos just came out and dominated, led by Pume Helikahi, who just excelled all six positions as she never came out in all three sets. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening and watching as the number six team in the nation, New Mexico military and two Broncos improve their record to 21 and four and nine and one in conference play and the Odessa Wranglers now fall to 21 and four, six and three in conference play. And the New Mexico Military Institute Broncos will be back in action on Saturday, October 14th at, looks like New Mexico Junior College in Hobbs, New Mexico. I'm sorry, it says, yeah, yeah, Saturday right. the 14th, that's correct. So Saturday, October 14th at number eight, New Mexico Junior College. That should be an interesting one as the New Mexico Military Institute had played them earlier in the year and defeated New Mexico Junior College in four sets, three sets to one. We're gonna close this out. Congratulations to Coach 
Shelby Forstner and the New Mexico Military Broncos. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening and watching KSVPTV.com.